Hi. Now, so I will give you one assignment for Windows application. And I will exp going to explain you each and every step by step what you have to do when you are working with this application. Now, our application, Windows application is our notepad application. Okay. This is our notepad application. Now, here, first, when you are working with any application, note down all the actions what you are going to perform in that application. Understand, right? What are the actions? Then, based on the actions, you are going to decide elements. If element is there, then only we can able to create a actions. Okay, so let me show you here what it means by that. Now, we have launched Notepad application here, right? First, what we have done, launch Notepad application. Second step is what our requirement is, we need to write something on this Notepad. In this particular, we need to write something on the Notepad. Okay, so once you write something on a Notepad, then we need to save this. To save, what we have to do is, we need to click on a file and then you need to click on a save. And then it will ask you the path, right? What we have done for this, we have launched, we have written something on this, like for example, hello, blue prism, we have written something. After that, we need to click on a file, right? Next step is, we need to click on a file. Next step, after clicking on a file, we need to click on a save. This is save. We need to click on save, sorry. Save. When you click on a save, observe this. Next, we need to give the file name here, right? Next, we have to give file name. Fifth step is file name we need to give. Once you given the file name, Next, suppose we have given the, for example, notepad sample dot txt. This is a text, right? So I have given the windows. Let me give you in desktop. Take the path of this. Shift, right click, copy as a path. When you come here, now here, you need to give that path. Now this is the path, right? So this one is what we will give desktop sample dot txt. This is the path. When you have given the file name, then we need to click on a save. Right? See so this? We need to click on a save. When you click on a save, after that, we need to click on close. We need to click on close. Seven close right now we have closed now it is asking after the save automatically we have given some changes save closed now observe this the file has been created now these are the steps what we have done when you are working with notepad application first what we have done we have launched we have written something and then we have given a file Click on a file, save, after that file name, save, and then close. Launch and close, nothing but a terminate. These two are 
default actions for any application for every application these two are default actions okay remaining actions we need to create to create remaining actions each and everything we need one one element right so now what you have to do is so first note down like this then you need to launch your notepad application based on your path like uh, how you are going to do like a right click and then create a object after that give the name after that it will ask you windows application is it a windows application or browser based application you need to give after that it will ask you the path of your executable file notepad executable file it will be available in windows text windows c windows okay you can check that then once it is launched then you need to create a, all these elements let me show you thing here we need to create each and every element so once you create a each and every element for this one element for this one element for this one element 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 right for launch and close only one element once you created element then you need to create a actions the step by step now you need to spy this file after that you need to spy this save after that where you need to write in this particular area so you need to spy this as well right so once you have spied and created elements create actions and then just perform step by step this is the assignment for you guys so if you have any question so you can so reach me thank you